Did you know that Thanksgiving is the leading day of the year for home fires involving cooking equipment? The Hayward Fire Department wants everyone to have a safe and happy Thanksgiving, so we have put together this short video full of important kitchen safety tips, including how to safely deep fry a turkey. Since a lot of fires start in the kitchen, we'd like to go over some kitchen fire safety with you. Stay in the kitchen when you are cooking on the stovetop so you can keep an eye on the food. Stand by your pan. Stay in the home when cooking your turkey and check it frequently. Keep children at least three feet away from a hot stove. In fact, you should keep kids away from all hot foods and liquids. Steam and splash from hot items can cause burns. Always keep an eye on what you fry. Splashes can cause burns, a slippery surface, and start fires. When cooking on a stovetop, make sure you have some precautions in place, like an oven mitt and an ABC fire extinguisher. So for stovetop fires, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we do not use water to put out the fire. We want to use an ABC fire extinguisher like the one we have over here. Another safety precaution is to turn your pot handles inward towards the stove so that they're not sticking out, so that if anybody's walking by, they will not knock the pot off the stove. Next, we are going to walk you through some important safety tips and how to properly deep fry a turkey. They tend to tip over easily, spilling the hot cooking oil. With no thermostat controls, the units also have the potential to overheat the oil to the point of combustion. Turkey fryers should always be used outdoors, a safe distance from buildings and other material that can burn. Make sure fryers are used on a flat surface to reduce accidental tipping. Never leave the fryer unattended. Never let children or pets near the fryer when in use. Make sure the turkey is completely thawed and be careful with marinades. Oil and water do not mix, and water causes oil to spill over. Thaw according to these rules. For every five pounds of turkey, thaw in the refrigerator for 24 hours. What we want to make sure is we get the proper amount of oil into the deep fryer so that it doesn't cause spillover, which can cause the uh, hot oil to drip down into the flame and cause a fire. The first step we're gonna do is take the turkey and put it into the fryer. Now we're gonna pour the oil into the fryer. So what you wanna do is add enough oil to cover the turkey a half inch over the turkey, about right there. The next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the turkey out of the fryer, making sure that you do not let any oil touch the burner. Have an assistant by you that can bring the pan close and you can put the bird in there without getting any oil on the burner. Now we're going to have to light the deep fryer, so make sure you follow your manufacturer's instructions on how to light your own deep fryer. So before I proceed, I want to make sure that I have the correct temperature uh, on the turkey fryer. I want to put on my personal protective equipment, my eye, my eye protection, my gloves. I want to grab the hook. And this is the part I want to be very careful with. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to place it in there very carefully. Very careful not to spill the hot oil onto the burner. And then I want to cover it. And this is the proper technique for frying a turkey. The Hayward Fire Department would like to wish everyone a happy and safe holiday season. We hope you make it a point to stay safe and if you must use a turkey fryer, please follow these rules.